Hey, Dad, how do you bend inch and a quarter conduit? So inch and a quarter conduit's the same as any other conduit, right? Just a bigger bender. Okay. It's pretty much the biggest conduit you can bend manually, right? Is inch and a quarter. So it's got the same as uh, any other bender, right? All right. We've got on this side, we've got the arrow, mm -hmm. right? And then we've got the back 90 star. Okay. So what do you want to do? Uh, just like a 90, 90 degree. Okay, 90 degree bend. Yeah. So now, if we don't have a size, okay. what I like to do, if I'm just making a 90 on the very end of the pipe, mm -hmm. I will just go about two inches from the end of the pipe onto the arrow and make my 90. If you would have had a measurement, if you would have said, hey, I need 60 inches, right? Then I would measure from the end of the pipe up. So you always want to continue in one direction when you're pulling, when you're working with conduit. Got it. You don't want to switch this around. You always want to be working in one direction. All right. So in that case, I would use the star okay. to make sure when my 90 is done, when it sticks up, it'll yeah. be right at that 60 inch mark. Always, so, always use the star? Always use the star okay. if you have a measurement. Got it. All right. And then if you don't have a measurement, okay, you can use the arrow. Okay. It's just easier to use the arrow. So we're going to go approximately two inches All right. beyond the shoe. Got it. Don't need to be much more than that, right? Mm -hmm. isn't we this, don't isn't want this it. stuff really tough to bend? No. No, no, it's not. There's a technique to it, and I'll show you the technique. Okay. Now, whenever we're bending conduit, it's actually going to be taking away. It's going to shrink. Okay. Because of that 90 and the force of the metal, it actually shrinks okay. the end here. So you never want to be too far on the edge. Okay. Because then you might run out of the shoe as you're bending. So that's why I like to leave about two inches. All right. Right about here is approximately two inches. Okay. Now, this is actually a homemade bender. This bender has a piece of rigid gas pipe in it. Looks like it's inch and a quarter gas pipe threaded down. All right. Because when you buy these benders, you can buy just the shoe and you can make your own handle for it. Okay. So this is a very short handle. I would prefer the handle to be about six inches or six feet. So you tall. get more leverage. You get more leverage, but that's no excuse. All right. Pop can make it work. All right, Pop. So the whole key is not kinking it. Okay. And how you do that is by maintaining almost a hundred percent of your weight on this large foot pad right here. Yeah. So all you got, all your body weight. All your body weight stays. Now you're not going to be able to make a continuous ninety on here. Okay. It's going to run out of room. I'll show you how all right. that is. Okay. Stand back. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I got good balance. Okay. Right. I'm going to put my weight. Now I use my right leg because my right leg is my stronger leg. Okay. I'm going to make sure. I'm straight. I don't have any dog legs going. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is as I pull, I'm actually going to jump back. Okay. Now this isn't going to be one sweep like a third, a, a, a 45, a, a three quarter half inch. Okay. This is going to be like an incremental bend. All okay? right. It's too hard to just make it in one shot. Yeah. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Little, little start off. Okay. Actually makes it much easier. Brings the handle back to me. Yeah. And my foot more. Uh, to the ground. Got it. So I'm going to continue that same movement. Nice. Right? Yeah, nice now, and easy. You can see I'm running out of shoe here. Okay. But I'm going to continue till I run out of the shoe. And there it is. I bottomed out. Okay. All right. Now, this is almost a perfect 45. Oh. In yeah. a way. Right? Yeah. No, yeah, well, because when the degrees. handle. When the handle is on like a 30 degree bend, mm -hmm. that's 45. Oh, okay. If if this handle was straight up and down, it would be a 30. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip up the shoe. Yeah. I lock the shoe in at a different spot. Okay. You notice that I have more room now. Yeah. So now we'll continue. Wow, yeah, that, that looks tough. Nah, it's not tough. Yeah. Again, my all my weight mm -hmm. is right here. Got it. Oh wow, yeah, that looks like a perfect ninety. Okay. Yeah, I think it's right about there. There you go. So you could have um, a little bubble level okay. here to see. Yep. And then it should. Just oh wow, yeah. Pull right out. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And that is how, even at sixty years old, you can bend. Hell yeah. Thanks, Ned. Got it.
leave at least two inches sticking out of the shoe. All right. That's too much. Too Go much? Back. Yeah. All right. Right about that. there is good. All yeah. Right. Now, you do have a 90 on the back of this piece. Yeah. So you want to kind of step on that 90 and get it level. Step on the 90? Yeah, you want that level, level to the ground. It is. Right? Yeah. So we step on the back here. Okay. Okay. All right. So yep. now, uh, use your So now you're going to be straight foot. up and down. Yeah. Which is, you can stand regular now. All right. Which is your, that's your dominant foot yeah. in the right leg. Yeah. Now you're going to put all your weight as you pull up. Now you're only going to pull up about an inch. So okay. go ahead when you're ready. I'm freaking 160. I'm 160 pounds. Okay, you got it. It's working. You got it. Take your time. That's it. You're getting it. See, it's going to get easier on you. There you yeah. go. Nice. Okay. Whew. Now you've gotten about a 45 degree. You're about halfway there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You tie your shoe. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you look at this, where I was explaining before, mm -hmm. this is already on the ground. Okay. So there's a, a uh, another section you could lock it in, and right. that's there. Okay? Oh, okay. So once you get to this point, you can set it up there. And now you always want to maintain your weight. Okay. All right. Got it. Yeah, it's like core workout. Already. Uh, do you do you recommend like going like low like uh, that? No, I recommend like, yeah, straight like that. Or like on an yeah, angle like that. Yeah, just like that, straight, stepping on it and pulling back. I think it's easier for me going. If like it's this. easier for you that way, do it that way then. All right. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you got it. There. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now go ahead. That's it, man. Excellent, Chris. Great job, buddy. Great job. Wait, before you take it off, let me, right. let me give you another little trick. Right. So you're right at the 90 level, right? Yeah. And that's really because of the limitation of the, the bender. The, the, and also the... Yeah, this in the way in the bender. So what, what I would do is I could actually put this up. Okay. And then gives me a little bit more. Of course, you, you got it all the way. Nice. You're all the way. But sometimes you can do that. You could lock that up and you can get a little bit more... Actually, we just did. Here's a little bit more. Okay. Perfect. Right? Yeah. And there's your 90. Okay. That was my first 90 ever. An inch and a quarter. Now, let's take a look at it. All right. So, that's why it's important, and it's good, because you've got, we've got our 90 this way. Yeah. Right? And that way it wasn't up. That's why when I said step on it, make sure it's square, straight. Yeah. And then you can see these little ripples. That's completely normal. Okay. It's a little bit kinked up. A little bit kinked up from you bouncing on it, All right. but that's certainly acceptable. Okay. okay. So you just needed to practice it a little bit more. If you want to do another 90 going up, you would use like a stairwell. Okay. Okay. You would need to get this level, you, you know, on like three quarter, half inch. You can do it in the air. You can just fly it, right? Yeah. But this, you really need all your weight. So you would want to go find a stairwell. Yeah. And then have this side go down the stairs. Enough to this can lay flat, and then you can continue with the bend. What about, um, so can I just, you know, get a pre-made 90, a pre-made 45 degree? Absolutely. I recommend that. Yeah. So this is a really nice 90. This okay. Is, yeah, we got a, that's I a, think this is the one I did. Yep. And I can't even tell you did that good of a job. That's you, know, you know, don't listen to these jerky electricians. These guys that are, all they do is bend conduit. They're, you're never going to be the very best. Best conduit bender. At anything, yeah. unless you consistently do it all the time. Yeah. So there's guys that are going to watch your videos. They're going to criticize you because this is all they do. Yeah. And of course they're going to be much better than you. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're going to have the technique. They're going to have the tools. Mm -hmm. So what? Yeah. Okay. As long as you know how to do it. You're never going to be the very best. Yeah. Pretty much at anything you do, residential, EV charging, you know, batteries, uh, at, at UPS systems. You you need to have a well-rounded balance okay. of work. So, so don't listen to people who say, oh, you use pre-formed elbows. Yeah. There's nothing wrong than buying an elbow mm -hmm. already and then putting a compression coupling or... And that's the other thing, too. Don't, don't worry if you make a mistake. You can always cut it. Yeah. And put a fitting on. I could get my bandsaw, cut it, make another piece, get another piece. So don't listen to other sparkies that break your balls about 
Oh my gosh, you bought pre-vet 90s? Oh, they're pre That's a joke to me. Yeah. I mean, when I look, as long as I see it running neat and it's got the nice angles and it looks good, who cares if there's fittings in it? Yeah. If you do use fittings, it's important that you ream. Okay. And you clean it properly. How do you ream your condo? Do you use like a, a special screwdriver or like a, 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 a file? Well, on, on something like this, I would use a file. Okay. Okay. I'd use a round file going inside mm -hmm. and then the flat side on the outside. Yes. I would do it that way. Yes. On three quarter, half 